and welcome my pinky pals. Today we are just creating some cute animal doodles. I, I just don't have the mental, physical, emotional, you know, ability to do anything else at this point. And I will say like, these are, I think cute. I still think they turned out cute, but I did not use references and that is going to be abundantly clear. <laughs> my giraffe is not <laughs> anatomically correct. Uh, but yeah, you know what guys, I'm not feeling well and I thought, let's just do some doodle. Let's just do what we're here to do. Create a cute little doodle, whatever. I just did this on a square and I just thought I'm just going to fill it and that's it. I wasn't really thinking animals, but then once I did the giraffe, then I was like, ah, I want to do animals. So that's what I did. So <laughs> that's kind of where it goes. And I just, I wanted to do like doodly stuff. So I did more like texture with my pencil and I only used the one kind of like uh, brush. So like I didn't do you know, multiple things. I just, I just wanted to just have fun and play with textures more so than anything. I did add a little bit of color at the end because I just was like, nah, I need some color. But I kind of went with like a... It's a doodle vibe. It's just a doodle. It's a little bit like, what is that? Folky? Folk arty, I guess. I was kind of inspired a little bit by that. I, <clears throat> yeah, I don't know. I tried to make like animals that look like what they were supposed to be. I think it worked for some of them. I don't know if it worked for all of them. But I do think it worked for some of them. But anyway, I'm so sorry. How are you? Hi. How are you? Welcome. Welcome if you're new here. My name is Pinky. And on my channel, we just create. Whether that's drawing or something else, we we doodle. We play around. We do art. We make art. And yeah, <clears throat> that's just the way it is. This box changed so much. But at the end, I did actually like it. I, I thought it looked really good. Oh, I thought it was cute anyway. I don't know if it looks like a fox. The cat. I don't know, guys. I don't know. I thought I knew how to draw cats. <laughs> I have a whole, like, booklet in the works on drawn cats. And then I did this. And I'm just like, what am I even trying to do? And then, then I'm like, this is why I use references. Because I don't know what I'm actually doing. Um, <clears throat> so, yeah. I don't know what this is. I'm like, is it a koala bear? No, it's got a cat tail. <laughs> I don't know. I tried. I just wanted to do a cat and it backfired real hard. And yeah, that's just the way it is. Sometimes that's just the way it is. And it's okay. Like sometimes, you know, doodles are just doodles, right? Like they're not meant to be perfect. They're just meant to give some kind of release. And sometimes that is just what you need as an artist. You just need to just draw, just create, but you also don't want to create anything. <laughs> and that's kind of the mood I've been in this weekend. And I do apologize because I feel a little bit bad that I didn't get anything prepared or anything, but I just, I have not been feeling well. And just with the week that we've all kind of had, I think it's just a little bit rough. Um, but here we go. This bear, I actually really like this bear. I think this would be cute. I might have to actually like create this bear and turn him into a little sticker set or something, which is one thing I am working on. I'm trying to find some sticker set ideas and well, I say try to find, I'm trying to draw. I have the ideas in my head. I'm trying to find time to draw them. And so I'm working on that, which I think will be fun. But this guy actually might be a cute kind of like character to start out with. I think he's really cute anyway. I don't know. Uh, if that's something, like if you guys would like to see how I create stickers more so, like doing more stickers, let me know. I, you know, I have my sticker shop and I would like to start creating actual sticker sets. Well, I would like to start selling them. I have some created, so there's that but I would like to start selling them. So I'm pretty excited for that. But if you have any ideas, let me know. So yeah, once I got to the, I guess the bear, that's when I was kind of like, he's wearing a scarf, you know, maybe he's not just a bear. Maybe I can make other things. And then for some reason I thought, oh, you know, it would be great as a jackalope. Never made one in my life. Never in my life have I made a jackalope. Don't know what it looks like because it's not even real, but I'm just like, that's what I need in my life right now is a jackalope. 
So that's what I made. And I think it's really freaking cute. <laughs> it's like my favorite thing, I think. Hit the, the jackalope and the bear. I'm like, maybe they're best friends. Maybe that is why I think they're cute. Maybe, maybe that's the whole point. They're best friends and they have adventures together. Uh, <laughs> yeah, right? I don't know. Anyway. Um, and then I just kind of started thinking about like with my doodles and with just doing the random lines like I did with the fox, I thought maybe I'll do something a little bit more extravagant. And it made me think of like sweaters and then the sweater made me think about blankets and the blanket made me think about donkeys that wear bank blankets. And then for some reason I thought I could draw a donkey. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, <laughs> but I did for some reason I thought, you know what, I bet you I could draw a donkey. Never drawn one in my life never in my life didn't look at any I did not look at a single reference and I think it shows I'm trying to like find a way to do his nose so that it doesn't just like completely like lean into the way his um, sweater is and so that he doesn't just look like an egg creature thing I don't know I don't know if it worked but I thought it was cute I thought it was cute and that's all that matters that's what my mom tells me anyway uh, but yeah, so I hope you guys are all doing really well, especially, um, you know, my my neighbors to the south. I'm Canadian, but I know a lot of Americans, and I know a lot of Americans that were not very happy with the results, and some who were happy with the results. I guess, I don't know, I actually don't know anybody that was, but <laughs> I'm sure there was either way. I mean, clearly there was, because that's what happened, but um, I hope you guys are all doing well, and that, uh, you know, just these kind of just doodly things make you feel better. And for everyone in general, you know, all you guys. Hey, here's the thing. So this is one thing. This, this penguin should make everyone feel better. But do they have weird tufts? Are those feathers or are those ears? I didn't know. Again, I didn't look at references. Maybe I should have, but anyway. Anyway, the point is, I hope you guys are enjoying it and that I hope you guys... Why did I going off of look I don't know I don't know guys <laughs> my brain doesn't work I hope you guys are doing well is the point I'm trying to make and then I keep on looking at what I'm drawing and I'm like what did I do to this, this poor penguin because I look at the end result and I'm just like it was cute at one point that's the way it goes that's the way it goes let me know in the comment section below too guys which uh, animal is your um least disliked I guess I don't know they're all bad but which one do you like the most out of all of these I think the giraffe is a good one that I could come back to I think the deer is a good one I could come back to I love the one bear the other bear is kind of cute the jackalope I love so I mean I think there are some gems in this mixed bag of treats I think it would be fun I would like to make like for my shop I love I love doing like bullet journaling, but I hate actually bullet journaling. If that makes sense, does that make sense? Like, I love the idea of bullet journaling. I hate the amount of time it takes me to set up a journal. So I've been thinking of doing some like stickers. I have some digitally, so I do like digital stickers where I have like them set up for a bullet journal. But then I thought maybe I can make my own stickers for like a sticker, like a bullet journal kit kind of thing. I thought that might be fun. So I'm also working on that idea. And these kind of gave me some ideas for it. I was like, some of these are kind of cute. Like I could turn these into something, you know? I could turn them into a little something, something. I ended up doing like a panda as well, but then I was like, you already have two bears. So then I was like, well, I'll make it a panda ice cream cone. And then it doesn't count. So then at that point, I think the doodles just went nuts. But it's okay. It's fine. Let's go ahead. I just filled in spots with whatever I could. Uh, this is supposed to be a wolf. It looks wolfy, don't it? <laughs> and then some weird, I don't know, something in me was like, I want to drop birds. I want to make like a whole bunch of birds. Weird birds. But like, I don't know. I tried to do them not the way I would normally draw a bird, if that makes sense. Like, I wanted them to look somewhat more birdy instead of just, like, all looking like weird ducks. 
Not that there's anything wrong with that, but I tried my best and I thought that one looked, I thought that one worked out well. So then I was like, I might do another duck. I didn't think that right now. I thought I better fix some of these things. Clearly I didn't fix that poor penguin. Uh, I wanted to draw an elephant. I didn't think I had enough room in this top corner. So I was like trying to like move people out of the way. I also wanted to draw like a different kind of elephant ear. Normally I do like a little whatever, like a little flippity floop. Yeah, that makes sense, right guys? Yeah. Um, but anyway, I did a different ear shape and I thought it turned out really cute. And then I was like, you know what? I kind of want to like do some of my doodly things inside the ear. But then I was like, oh, what if I don't like how that turns out? Right? Because like sometimes you're like, oh, yeah. So I just duplicated it and like moved the other one over. And then I was like, okay, I'm safe. I can do whatever I want now, you know? And then I did this with the ear and I actually really like it. I kind of wouldn't mind coming back to something like that as well. Maybe doing like a mandala inside the elephant ear. Does that make sense? I don't know. I just thought it was really cute. And I had a lot of fun just like creating lines and creating little, little doodle things. And yeah, I just enjoyed that part and not having to think like this was kind of my thing. I was like, I don't want to think about anything. I clearly should have thought about some of these things. Like I know this, these, some of these animals look wonky. I get that. <laughs> and I probably should have used the like some kind of reference, but at the same time, I just wanted to draw and have fun and just enjoy it. I have so many things I think that I'm working on, so many like products, new product ideas, so many new like book ideas. I also like I write as well, so I have a couple of books that are published and I need to get the third one of the series out and then I also have another like full length novel in the works and Sometimes things just, you know, it just kind of gets to the point where you're a little bit bogged down and you're a little bit like, ugh. So I'm working on that. I'm also working on an idea for a new YouTube channel. Now, this one would still be here, obviously, because I love, I love just drawing and I love you guys. But I'm thinking of doing like, and this is why it would be different. I'd be telling stories like kind of like what I had done before for Halloween. It would be different true events that are based on, you know, whatever, what have you, weird things. Like, um, I would talk about like weird things in history and true crime and all that kind of stuff just in like a story kind of format. And there I go with that poor penguin again. I don't know why I can't just leave him alone. <laughs> Uh, he was cuter to, at one point, but, um, anyway, <laughs> I kind of, yeah. So like, I want to do something like that where I do a storytelling mode and I tell people about, you know, different things that I'm interested in because I'm interested in a lot. Like I, I, you know, I, I wanted to be an anthropologist is what I wanted to be. So I'm very interested in, history and um you know cultures and things like that so i would love to do something where we talk about you know different things not just in my area not just canada and the u.s you know but kind of everywhere and that would include like and it wouldn't just be true crime or you know history it would include things like you know the paranormal the supernatural i love that kind of stuff i love like aliens and bigfoot and that kind of stuff too you know i maybe don't believe in all of it but i love it all you know so i'm working on that but that won't be until probably the the new year when i have that up and running i'll probably be doing um well we'll see how it goes we'll see how many i can kind of get out but i'm thinking probably just one video a month at least to begin with so of course, if you're, you know, if you're interested in something like that, the best place is like my patron because I mean, it just is, <laughs> they're the ones I tell first. So it, it, you know, that's just the way it is, but you're, you're welcome there as well. Everybody is welcome. And I really wanted to do, uh, uh, this thing and a uh, rainbow. That's the word for it. I really want to do a rainbow because I just find like folk rainbows are like really pretty. And then I realized I had no room, so I had to fit, fit it in there. And that's fine. <clears throat> I did, and I even had more room for some more hearts. But yeah, that's pretty much it. I wanted to add some color to it, just like even just you know cheeks. Um, <laughs> and I even tried doing a different color palette. I didn't like it, so. 
I went back to my old. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Uh, but yeah, so like I do have a lot of things kind of on the go that I'm thinking about that, <sighs> you know, it's just starting to maybe just become a little bit too much for my sick body. <laughs> I can't. I can't. I've been very anemic for quite some time and um, it just keeps on kind of, as soon as I think it's getting worse, then it just, or as soon as I think it's getting better, sorry, it gets a little bit worse. So things are going a little bit slower than what I want them to do, which of course, you know, I think as, an, like, as anybody, you know, when you have plans and you're doing things and you're trying to get stuff done and then you can't because you're sick or because something that is outside of your control is making it so that you can't do those things, it gets frustrating, right? So that's kind of where I'm at right now. I had a lot of fun just kind of coloring these. I don't know why I, um... <laughs> did the cheeks first I think because maybe that was all I was gonna do but then I was like oh this is kind of fun it's like cathartic as well to just color a little bit here and there and I really enjoyed it I think I would like to do more just kind of doodles as well in my own time I think it helps a lot it kind of helps my like brain space so I need to start doing more of those as well but yeah if there's anything that you guys would like me to show more on the um youtube channel let me know but otherwise that's it for me guys bye